in technologies that are ready for today's challenges and forging tomorrow's path. Space, the final frontier. These are the, what? Oh, we're talking about buying stock in space. Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> to get to space, the final frontier, we need craft that can take us there. Humanity has honestly had that for quite some time, but in truth it hasn't been enough to take us to the stars like it did in Star Trek, Star Wars, and other sci-fi shows. But there is indeed a space race going on right now as agencies like NASA, SpaceX, and more are determined to get mankind not just to the moon again, but to Mars, and their stocks are rising as a result. Allow us to show you the best space stocks 2021. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. Garmin LTD Garmin ranks 10th in our list of the best space stocks to buy right now. The navigation and communications provider enabled by GPS technology was founded in 1989. The company was awarded the Supplier of the Year Award from Embraer. This marked their 11th time to receive the award. Recently, the company announced the acquisition of all the assets of Geos Worldwide Limited subsidiaries. Brad Trankel, Vice President of Garmin's Outdoor Segment, said the acquisition will enable them to provide more peace of mind to their users. With this acquisition, Garmin is now able to provide even more peace of mind to our in-reach users. In an emergency, every moment matters. The addition of the IERCC to the Garmin family reinforces our commitment to helping our active lifestyle customers make it home safe from their adventures. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Cliff Arnes's AQR Capital Management, which had over $158 million invested in the stock at the end of September. GPS is a technology that is always useful and always growing, especially as details and better maps can be provided. So if you think this is something you'd feel safe in investing in, by all means. Number 9. Trimble Don't know about Trimble? Don't worry, we got your back on that one. The company is a California-based hardware, software, and services technology company. It delivers products that aim to connect the physical and digital worlds. During the third quarter of 2020, the company reported a $792.8 million revenue. If you think about it, that's a pretty awesome revenue. And given that their market is digital and physical items for computers and devices to connect better, that means the more they make, the better their stock will be especially if they make a breakthrough item that could change everything. Number 8. Sirius XM Holdings Yes, here's a company you should know quite well. Sirius XM is known as one of the top broadcasting companies. Sirius operates from its satellites. Recently, the company announced that they have extended their agreement with the National Basketball Association, in which users will gain access to live audio broadcasts for every NBA game. So if you're looking for a stock to invest in that you personally feel won't hurt you for not knowing what exactly they do, this is a good one to jump onto because they're one of the current kings of radio broadcasting and that's not hard to understand at all. Number 7. Honeywell Honeywell is a company you may not have heard of before, but you'll definitely want to check into it for various reasons. In an article, Madison Investments mentioned that the stock is a relative yield example within industrials. This quarter, we're highlighting Honeywell, HON, as a relative yield example with industrials. HON is a leading industrial conglomerate with an increasing focus on software and automation. We believe its global scale, history of innovation, and strong culture focused on continuous operational efficiency create a sustainable competitive advantage. HON operates four segments including aerospace, building technologies, performance materials and technologies, and safety and productivity solutions. These businesses serve diverse end markets including aerospace, U.S. defense contractors, e-commerce, and oil and gas customers. Number 6. Northrop Grumman Northrop Grumman is a company that, like many on this list, has dabbled in affairs both above Earth and upon it. During the third quarter of 2020, the global aerospace and defense technology company announced a sales increase of 7% to $9.1 billion from $8.5 billion in the third quarter of 2019. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Peter Ratchin's, Bruce Clark, and John Campbell's Aero Street Capital, which had over $195 million invested in the stock at the end of September. Number 5. L3 Harris The next space company we have is L3 Harris. The company operated in every domain, air, land, sea, space, and cyber. They are responsible for delivering end-to-end -end solutions that meet customers' mission-critical needs. Recently, the Missile Defense Agency awarded LHX with a $121 million contract to build a prototype satellite that will track hypersonic weapons. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Rick Dillian's Diamond Hill Capital, which had over $174 million invested in the stock at the end of September. An insider recently purchased 161 shares at around $191. Number 4. HEI Designs 
HEI designs and produces jet engines and aircraft component replacement parts. The stock was mentioned as one of the 15 best undervalued stocks to buy now. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Robert Joseph Caruso's Select Equity Group, which had over $88 million invested in the stock at the end of September. An insider recently purchased 978 shares at around $111. Number 3. Lockheed Martin Lockheed Martin is a name you likely know well due to its development of jets for the military among other things. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Peter Ratchin's, Bruce Clark, and John Campbell's Aero Street Capital which had over $479 million invested in the stock at the end of September. An insider recently purchased 1,354 shares at around $376. In an article, River Park Advisors LLC mentioned that under Jim's leadership, the stock grew its market capitalization from $2 billion to $100 billion. Lockheed Martin is the world's largest aerospace and defense contractor. With about 70% of its $60 billion in revenue from the U.S. government, the company is well positioned to benefit from U.S. defense budget growth, historically 5-6% to per year, as well as increased global military spending. With a $144 billion backlog and deliveries forecast to reach 180 aircraft per year in 4-5 to five years, we believe the company could grow at a significantly higher rate than overall defense budget growth over the next several years. The street expects mid-single-digit revenue growth for the company, in line with overall market growth. Due to its exposure to faster-growing programs, we believe the company can exceed that growth rate and add margin expansion from increased sale. Further strategic acquisitions, debt paydown, a 2% dividend yield, and continued share buybacks from $6 billion per year of free cash flow should lead to even greater shareholder returns. Under Jim's leadership, AMT grew its market capitalization from $2 billion to $100 billion, and as both a shareholder and U.S. citizen, we look forward to him bringing his vast array of leadership skills to LMT. Number 2. RTX Going on from there, we have RTX, another company that has had its hand in various things over the years. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Eric W. Mandelbatt's Sorabon Capital Partners, which had over $801 million invested in the stock at the end of September. An insider purchased 1,000 shares at around $52 a share. Check out this article where Third Point talked about the stock. We are pleased that the board of directors decided to split United Technologies Corps UTC, into three separate focused companies. Unfortunately, the initial announcement caused confusion and created uncertainty about the free cash flow generation of newly acquired Rockwell Collins. We believe management has largely rectified this by shortening the time to separation and providing better disclosure on Rockwell Collins' free cash flow generation. We have urged management to quantify the elimination of standard costs and explore a highly value-creating transaction for carrier and believe they are receptive to these suggestions. Despite the separation announcement, UTC's sum of the parts discount has continued to widen, and the valuation gap versus UTC's closest multi-industry peer, Honeywell International, has reached a new 10-year high. The coming separation will shine a greater spotlight on the large valuation gap to UTC's pure play peers. During the separation process, we expect the management team to highlight UTC's asset quality and to increase transparency around Pratt & Whitney's very significant multi-year inflection in free cash flow generation. Number 1. DISH DISH is one of the top television providers in American television. Recently, the company announced that they have reached an agreement with Nexstar Media Group to provide users the ability to tune in to Nexstar-owned programs, including news, entertainment, and sports. Brian Nylon, group president, Dish TV, said, We are pleased to have reached an agreement that benefits all parties, especially our customers. Thank you for all your patience and understanding as we worked through the negotiations. The top hedge fund holder of this stock is Boykin Curry's Eagle Capital Management, which had over $468 million invested in the stock at the end of September. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the companies that are determined to send us back into space that you should pay attention to for various reasons? Do you feel that they're indeed worthy of your investment? Which ones are you most interested in potentially buying into? Or are you going to wait for the next major breakthrough to truly make it worth your while? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on the channel.